If you've ever been made to sit through a card trick, you've probably been asked to pick a card at some point. Well, don't worry. There's no pressure on you for this. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to have you create a card, which is a lot more responsibility, but also a lot more fun. So just stick this joker anywhere in the deck, anywhere you like. It honestly doesn't matter. Uh, so we're going to create a card using the two cards that surround the joker that you put in the deck. So cards have two parts. I don't mean a front to back. I'm not going to ask you to draw pictures on the backs of the cards or anything. They have suits and values, right? So for example, the queen of diamonds, which I'm looking at on the bottom of the deck here, <laughs> queen of diamonds has the value of a queen uh, and the suit of diamonds. So let's use these cards to create your own card. Ooh. So the value will be a two. So you've created a two. I mean, it's not great, but let's go with it. The suit, hearts. So you've created the two of hearts. See how we did that? So using two of hearts as a guide, I'm going to enlist the help of these jokers to find the card that you just created. I'm going to put a joker near the top, a little bit down, but near the top, and joker near the bottom. So most of the cards are between the jokers. The idea here is that with a shuffle with the jokers in the deck, they can see all of the other cards flying by them, and they can kind of narrow down the card that you picked, which again was the two of hearts. So with the shuffle, the jokers eliminate some cards, not very many admittedly, but some, and they move a little closer to the center. Let's give the deck one more shuffle, and we'll see if we can do a little better. So. The jokers are in the deck, they're going to see all of the cards fly by them, and they're looking for the two of hearts. One more shuffle, I think they've got it. They should be in the middle with one card between them. Oh, there's actually no cards between them. I remember, I remember. With uh, one cut, your card will appear between the jokers. See? In between the jokers. Your card's definitely in there somewhere, uh, with all the other cards, admittedly. Uh, okay, actually, why don't we do it with your cut? Go ahead and give the deck a cut, wherever they like, uh, and then we'll give one more shuffle, and the jokers should be able to find, and I say again, just in case they're listening, the two of hearts. So, one shuffle, and one card between the jokers. Just one card trapped in between the jokers. How amazing would it be if the card you just created was the one they found, the Two of Hearts. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You could have put the Joker when you put it in anywhere and you would have created a different card. I think that's fair to say. But what if we put the Jokers back in the deck uh, because we're forgetting something? You could have also created a different card. You could have created the Queen of Spades. It's a different value in suit, so it's a different card made out of those two, right? So the queen of spades, queen of spades. Just give the jokers a little heads up. And I'm gonna shuffle them into the deck again, and hopefully they narrow it down in one go. Just one. One card between them. The queen of spades. And that is kinda nifty. 